everyone welcome back to another english online session i hope you all fine today i am going to explain you the part 2 from the unit reach the top this particular chapter is included in the text b5 this chapter is explaining the marvelous life of Maria Sharapova you all fan of any one of the sports players cricket football tennis badminton we have uh, a lot of uh, uh, brilliant players in our country in the case of tennis we have uh, Leandro Fez Mahesh Bhupathi and uh, Sania Mirza such wonderful players we have here we are going to learn about the life of maria sharapova who just achieved uh, her position top seed position uh, by merely working hard and have a determined mind she suffered a lot she was separated uh, very early from her parents for the training and uh, that toughened her and she became the top seed tennis player in the world in a very young age so this chapter is about maria sharapova she is a world renowned tennis player maria sharapova's rise to the top in the world of tennis the secret behind her phenomenal success lies in the harsh struggle and the immense sacrifice made by her and her parents born in siberia russia in 1987 maria sharapova led a charge of russian players who came to achieve great success in the women's game her humble background and her temporary loneliness made her mentally tough and more determined this mental strength coupled uh, with uh, her competitive nature hard work and sacrifice won her the number one position in the world in women's tennis maria has also brought her own brand of glamour to tennis by designing her own unique tennis outfits so let's see let's have a glance of uh, maria sharapova's journey to the top there is some unique quality in contrast to maria sharapova's smile and glamour which makes her likable it is this quality that helped her achieve success as she attained world number 1 position in women's tennis on monday 22nd august 2005 Maria's calmness and elegance is beyond her age. She was born in Siberia, Russia, and as a teenager, she took only 4 years of training to become the top seed women tennis player. The fast growth of uh, her career started 9 years ago when she made a big sacrifice which can be made by very few children of that young age. So here the initial passage itself uh, telling us the quality of her attitude her character so in the very young age she has to sacrifice his chi- her childhood uh, not uh, much entertaining or uh, she is not in a comfortable zone she work hard to reach the position she just achieved she reached the top by working hard and a determined mind only 4 years she took to reach that such a position and uh, uh, by the time this article was written 9 years back from the article was written she just uh, a young teenager who sacrificed uh, a lot to reach that position she is very calm and uh, Uh, the elegance she has beyond her age she was not very uh, talkative and uh, not much time she spent uh, entertaining herself she 
just work hard to reach that position and uh, she has reached she has achieved it uh, in the year 2005 she became the top seed tennis player she had not even turned 10 when she was sent to florida usa with her father for training in tennis she was extremely sad as she had to spend two years separation from her mother elena Maria's mother was forced to stay back in Siberia because she did not have the permit to travel to the US, uh, that means United States. At the tender age of nine, Maria learned that in order to excel at tennis, she would have to make many sacrifices. Maria recollects that she used to remain alone and missed her mother a lot. Her father worked hard to fetch money for her needs and so he also could not meet her. So here, childhood, what kind of a sacrifice she made, it is explained here. Uh, at very early age, uh, 9 to 10, uh, she was uh, sent to Florida, USA to get proper training or a good training. Uh, she was accompanied by her father. Unfortunately, her mother couldn't travel to US. Uh, at the age of nine, she realized that to excel or achieve something, she has to sacrifice a lot. She felt loneliness. That made her tough, uh, a competitive person. Uh, father also, he was there in uh, USA or uh, Florida. Uh, he was working hard to earn more money for her training, uh, to give her proper training. Uh, he was uh, doing extra work over time uh, to earn more money. Uh, so her, her father also very rarely meets her. So this was her childhood, made her tough person, a tough one. Maria was very young and so she would go to sleep at 8. The other students would return at 11 and would wake her up, ordering her to clean the room. Maria did not get depressed by all this, instead she became determined and mentally tough. She uh, took care of herself. She never thought of leaving the training because she was determined to achieve her aim. When a person has uh, nothing, he craves and becomes determined to get it. She says that she would have uh, borne greater humiliation and uh, insults also in order to achieve her dream. So again, the tough time she has faced uh, uh, in her childhood explained here. She as a child, a nine year old, 10 year old child, she just go to bed very early, eight o'clock but unfortunately their seniors her seniors just return uh, at 11 pm and wake her up and ask her to clean uh, the room or uh, places it's kind of a ragging they do but uh, if she is weak if she is weak means she may she might left the place uh, at once but she she made her tough she determined something, she has a goal, so she tolerated everything. She just uh, was telling in, a, in an interview, she has uh, just born, uh, be a tolerate greater humiliations and insult to uh, achieve or reach this position. She just tolerated everything. She has only one aim in her mind and she started working hard for that and never mind these kind of acts. Maria retains her determination till present day. This determination led her to grab the women's singles trophy at the Wimbledon Championship in 2004, followed by the rapid climb to top position in 2005. Tennis fans feel emotional to know about Maria's journey from frozen region of Siberia, but she is not moved by it. She gives straight answers when questioned about her aims which imply that she accepts that the hurdles and challenges she faced were worth the result that she got. She adds that she is competitive and works hard as she considers it to be a part of her work. 
this is maria's secret for success so she, uh, this mere determination helped her to reach uh, this position uh, she is now uh, she just re, uh, got the she just won the prize uh, women's singles trophy at wimbledon uh, championship in 2004 it is a greatest achievement very next year she became the top position top seed player in 2005 so uh, when when we hear about her story we may uh, emotionally get touched but all the sufferings all the humiliations she tolerated she never moved or uh, cry or uh, show her emotions to others she just tell her i have tolerated this and i got the reward which uh, i i am now she she is uh, the top player in tennis top seed player in tennis uh, she has answered all the humiliations all the loneliness all the pain with her success and she is a very bold woman very straightforward she never shy away from anything she just explained how hard her life is by the time also she was not moved or emotionally broke down by the things she has tolerated maria's speech has an american accent but she is proud to be a russian she says that usa is a big part of her life because she trained there but in the core of her heart she is a russian she holds the citizenship of russia her ancestors are russians and she is willing to represent russia at olympics too like other teenagers uh, of her age maria's favorite pastimes uh, are fashion singing and dancing she likes to read novels written by arthur conan doyle the creator of sherlock holmes she likes to wear fashionable evening gowns looking at her uh, fitness uh, it is unbelievable that uh, uh, she likes to eat pancakes with the chocolate spread and uh, drinks aerated orange flavored drinks so these are uh, uh, lines uh, telling us about uh, uh, how patriotic she is she likes to represent uh, russia and also in olympics too she uh, most of the time she has spent her life in usa usa played uh, the uh, country uh, has uh, a big role in her life but still she is a patriot she likes to represent russia and she is willing to uh, represent russia at olympics and uh, now the other lines talking about her taste Uh, she is or uh, time pass her hobbies she likes to uh, be fashionable she likes to sing uh, dance and uh, another important thing she likes to read the novels of uh, arthur conan doyle the creator of great sherlock holmes the detective uh, all of you knew him the movies are there based on the novels very intelligent gifted uh, uh, in a uh, investigative or detective officer and uh, also about uh, the food habits also explained here what are the foods she likes maria cannot uh, be put into a particular category her talent arts to succeed and sacrificing nature helped her to reach the top position in women's tennis no one will oppose the benefits that she is getting now because she made many sacrifices to to get them she says that money does motivate her to work hard tennis is both a sport and a business but the most important aspect for her was to reach the top spot in women's tennis it was this dream that kept her working further so as i said earlier she was very bold and open she never shy away from the questions uh, that uh, the earnings uh, the money she earns she said money definitely money motivates her she earn because she deserve it 
and also she has an aim to reach the top that uh, let her or uh, compel her to uh, work hard with a determined mind to reach the position and uh, she she is highly talented uh, it is quite difficult for the woman uh, to reach such a position because uh, they have to uh, fight the dogmas in the society which uh, the women may not get uh, uh, enough freedom to uh, express or uh, nurture their talent she has to fight fight her society uh, as well as uh, she has to prove herself that uh, she is good at we have seen the incredible life of uh, santosh yadav the mountaineer who fought uh, against uh, the principles the dogmas in the society and achieved her position and also the life of maria sharapova the top seed player in tennis there are many other women achievers are there these are the two selective examples here if you check there are uh, plenty of women who achieved in their field and proved that uh, they can do uh, like men it is not about uh, uh, like men it is more than they have achieved more than men did when the opportunities provided in the right time they just grabbed it and used it so this is highly motivating both life highly motivating uh, to, and inspire anyone who uh, willing to achieve something or determined to achieve something in their life these two lives are uh, uh, truly inspiring one now all of you just read the text don't forget to have a dictionary uh, see you in the next class bye